yes, yes, it's finally summer. Today is the 28th of June and we are going on a five day road trip to Italy. We are not driving in one time, we are driving with a pit stop in Switzerland for the Bonhams sales where a few pretty rare cars are being sold. Some more good news is that I got confirmation yesterday that I got my degree. So I am officially graduated. This means we got three months of vacation to rock some content for you all. We have to drive 800 kilometers to France to our first pit stop. Hey bonjour France. Hey bonjour tous les gens, baguette et croissant. Nous arrivons en France. You see, my friends is getting a little bit too good. So we just filled up the car for the first time here in France. And well, behind me we have a little surprise. We think it's the McLaren 540. And then a beautiful orange spec is just leaving. Let's hear that McLaren. So that's a 540 with GT4 parts. And now it's time for us to go further on our road trip. On the road again, off to the end of France. And obviously we have to do our classic pit stop here at McDonald's. Sheesh! I feel exhausted, man. Those Big Macs are too good. But we have to make up for some pace because we have to be there before 11 and we still have three hours to go that way. Arrived safely at our first pit stop. Good job, MX-5. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video. Today is day two of our road trip and we are going to the auction of the Bonham sales in style of course you've probably never seen me in a suit but today we are going as a gentleman mx5 ready yesterday we ate a lot of bugs in the front but it's all right because we're on the road let's go watch some hypercars i parked my mx5 next to the dino gt and we also have a 328 a gtb next to it and we just we blend just right in perfect fit but this is cool but that tent has way more in stock than was just here parked so let's explore that over there now obviously we've got lots to explore I don't know every car by name and specifications so I'm just going to pick my favorites out of them we've got here the brand new Ford GT based on the GT40 but then the modern version this car only has 120 no 102 kilometers from new carbon rims carbon side skirts all over the place which matches really good with the orange paint and the black which is just a killer spec and this is going somewhere between 700,000 and 900,000 euros tomorrow in my opinion the most beautiful modern hypercar on display here today we've got the McLaren P1 with a MSO Movine metallic paintwork where they claim to be only two of them in the entire world with this paintwork which looks absolutely beautiful. We got the P1 over there and casual next to it we got the McLaren Elva and then we have here this little small thing the white with the lines you can see this goes up at around 20 or 30 miles per hour to direct the airflow above the driver so that you don't get a lot of wind in your face but the bugs well yeah therefore you wear a helmet and over here we got the biggest well yeah most rare lineup here from Lamborghini we've got the Lamborghini Centenario Roadster which was made as a tribute to the 100th anniversary of Ferruccio Lamborghini. That's why it's called Centenario, which means 100 in Italian, I'm guessing. With a legendary V12, of course, only 505 kilometers from new. And just look at that interior, matching orange accents. If you look at the back from this Centenario, look at the diffuser with the orange accents made of carbon fiber. And if you thought that was cool, next to it, we have some more cool cars. We've got the Lamborghini. Reventon Roadster, which was once from a ex F1 driver, Sutil from Monaco, and casual behind it, the Coupe 1 of 20, 1 of 15, both based on the F22 Raptor fighter jet. You can see those lines perfectly. 
also in the front. This one's going for around 1.5 million to 1.8. This one 1.7 to 2.1. That were already a lot of hypercars and I'm going to put uh, the estimated price which they start in the description and the price for which they sold so you guys have an idea of what the value was of those cars. And if you had to pick any of these modern hypercars I had on display today, which one would you choose? We've got more classics over here. We've got modern hypercars, Porsche GT2 RS, GT3 RS, 4TD, Lexus LV, the Jaguar, we've got two McLarens, the Elva, P1, we've got the Lamborghini lineup over there, but I think this one is the winner of today. Notice something quite similar about all these Aston Martins as well. They have matching interior with the exterior. We've got the brown on brown, black on black, yellow on yellow, red on red, green on green, red on red. And all the cars have the matching color, which is pretty unique to see. We didn't saw that at first. So that tent was pretty fun, but we have a few reasons to go that way. Because, well, we are in Switzerland, so we don't have mobile data, I'm saying. So our GPS is not functioning, so we have offline cached version of the map. But we first need to get to this checkpoint before it goes to the next checkpoint in Italy. Casual chilling on the parking, we've got this A12 Competizione and this is Aperta version, you can see it over here. These go for around 2.6 million on the second hand market today. And it's just standing here, chilling, collecting leaves from the tree over there. At the castle we got two Ferraris chilling, the 599 GTO and then uh, the Ferrari which the 12 cylinder is based on. We've got two Classic, beautiful Ferraris over here. So the Dino got replaced with a 430 Scuderia, the beautiful Ferrari. And this one has a special badge of the F1 Constructors. 16 World Championships from 2008. I don't know what this means. I don't have Wi-Fi to look it up. So if anyone knows what's up with this badge, let me know in the comments down below. But it was all good and well. Switzerland, you were amazing. Thank you, but it's time for us to go to Italy. And just casual, another GT3 RS has joined the parking. Okay, well, so my route is cancelled on my phone, so we got to make use of the old Mazda GPS, which hopefully works. I guess we'll find out. And we have to make sure that we can switch up clothes uh, in a minute because it's freaking hot. After a long drive through the mountains of Switzerland and the country roads of Italy, we made it finally with the MX-5 here at our Airbnb. Well, yeah, it's just a hotel actually. And we managed to park the car in front of the hotel. We got the best spot of the place. But on the way to Venice, we got a lot of dirty rain. You can't see it that good on camera like the car is covered in mud like it's unreal maybe if I zoom in here I do my flashlight yeah you can see it like look at the headlight it's dirty so now we're going to check in discuss some of the game plans for tonight maybe we'll go to Venice maybe you're already going to look for the Ferraris where they are parked but now it's time to close our eyes for a minute and take some rest good morning everyone the plans of yesterday changed and we just went to bed because we were tired as hell but I still got to end today's video yesterday was a lot of fun we saw a lot of hypercars on the auction but today is a better day because we are in Venice and we are going to check out the arrival of some of the Ferraris we already know where they parked but it's like a private space where normally the cruise ship cars uh, park so I hope you all enjoyed this one make sure to leave a like subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video bye